It looks like He-Man and the Masters of the Universe are heading to Netflix. Netflix and Mattel Television are working on a CG series based on the popular toy line that will reimagine it for a new generation. Along with the announcement came a picture of the teaser poster. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe isn't the first Mattel property that Netflix has picked up. Last year, Netflix premiered a new reimagined version of She-Ra to a mixed response. Netflix, along with DreamWorks, have also rebooted another classic series, Voltron Legendary Defender. The She-Ra series, developed by DreamWorks and showrun by indie comic creator Noel Stevenson, will not tie into either He-Man series as far as we know. This new series will be what's being described as a brand companion to the Kevin Smith He-Man animated series Masters of the Universe Revelation. On August 18th, it was announced that Smith, along with Mattel Television's Rob David, were working on Revelation. Where the new Netflix series is a reimagining, Smith's series is taking a different approach. Revelation will focus on storylines that were unresolved from the classic 1980s series. Smith said, In Revelation, we pick up right where the classic era left off, to tell an epic tale of what may be the final battle between He-Man and Skeletor. Brought to life with the most metal character designs powerhouse animation can contain in the frame, this is the Masters of the Universe story you always wanted to see as a kid. Mattel's Rob David says of Kevin Smith's series, Masters of the Universe has been a cultural phenomenon for generations, inspiring fans to discover their own power within. Fans of this franchise have been waiting for the continuation of these characters, and Kevin Smith, as a master superfan himself, is the perfect champion and partner to expand the canon through a dynamic animated series on Netflix. Unlike the CG series, Smith's series will be animated by Powerhouse Animation, who also did Castlevania for Netflix. Fred Soley, Mattel's Senior Vice President of Content Distribution and Business Development, said of the new series, Masters of the Universe is one of the most iconic global franchises of all time, with a 30-year history and a passionate fan base. The entire team at Mattel is excited to introduce the world of He-Man to a new generation, and together with the talented team at Netflix to reimagine the classic characters in a way that appeals to kids and families today, while also resonating with the fans who grew up with them. House of Cool, who worked on the animated feature Ferdinand, and CGCG, who worked on Star Wars Resistance, both of whom who worked on Troll Hunters for Netflix and DreamWorks, are tasked with bringing this new series to life. Though we don't know much about this new He-Man series, it would seem that it's aimed at a different audience than the Kevin Smith Revelation series. From what we could tell from the teaser posters and the art style, this new series seems to be going for more of a younger audience. While Smith's Revelation series appears to be aimed at an older collector crowd, the chest plate in the poster featuring He-Man calls back to the 2000s series, while the poster of Skeletor with ominous red eyes looks to be a completely new design. Both series will be separate from each other, and the new series is being called a brand companion to Smith's Revelation series. On the surface, this would seem to cause quite a bit of confusion. Why would Mattel and Netflix approve two He-Man series to actively compete against each other? That would seem to be the $64,000 question. Perhaps Mattel and Netflix feel that the brand is strong enough to be able to market it to two separate audiences. However, He-Man hasn't been popular since the 1980s, and Cartoon Network's rebooted He-Man was cancelled back in 2002. Or perhaps Netflix and Mattel feel that with the plethora of 80s nostalgia properties being rebooted, that this was as good a time as any to cash in on He-Man. Which series will be preferred by viewers? That remains to be seen. Mattel is also planning to launch a new He-Man toy line, as well as a new comic book in conjunction with DC Comics. If you're a subscriber to Midnight's Edge, you probably already know that He-Man has had a difficult time making it out of development hell lately. Back in October, The Hollywood Reporter said that Sony were looking into the possibility of developing He-Man for Netflix and bypassing a theatrical release altogether. For more detailed analysis, check out Andre's excellent video about how He-Man was being dumped by Sony to Netflix. At the time, Sony Pictures CEO Tom Rothman, who is a frequent topic here at Midnight's Edge, was in negotiations to bring He-Man to Netflix. Sony Pictures have been taking it on the chin in recent years. Their Ghostbusters reboot was absolutely lambasted. They lost the distribution rights to James Bond to Annapurna and Universal. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo reboot, The Girl in the Spider's Web, failed to launch the franchise they were hoping for. And the Will Ferrell, John C. Riley film, Holmes and Watson, lost them somewhere around $20 million. After Sony's Men in Black International bombed at the box office and lost somewhere between $40 and $50 million, the thinking may have been that partnering with Netflix may present a low risk with a high reward. But this wouldn't be the only Sony property that moved to Netflix. In case you haven't noticed, and you probably haven't, Sony actually has its own streaming service called Crackle, which is a bit of an also-ran. So if Sony has a streaming service, why would they need Netflix? Much of Sony's back catalog, like All in the Family, Third Rock from the Sun, and The Critic is available on Crackle. But Crackle doesn't have much in the way of original content. Crackle has even been shut down in Latin America, Australia, and in Canada. Its most recognizable series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee with Jerry Seinfeld, has, as of 2017, moved to Netflix. 
As of March 28, 2019, Sony sold its stake in Crackle to Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment. Sony was looking for partners for its original content. However, Sony's name is seemingly absent from this announcement. Are you excited for both of these new He-Man series? Let us know in the comments. We'll keep you up to date on more developments with He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, along with the news and corporate politics of your favorite genre movies right here at Midnight's Edge.